What if you were segregated, isolated, and discriminated against just because of your race? This was the harsh reality of apartheid. Now you might be wondering, what is apartheid exactly? Originating from an Afrikaans word meaning apartness, apartheid is the systemic implementation of laws and policies to keep racial groups separate and unequal. This cruel system was most notably enforced in South Africa from 1948 to 1994. It was a time marked by harsh racial segregation, oppressive laws, and brutal enforcement. Black South Africans were stripped of their rights, forced into designated living areas, and subjected to inhumane treatment. The impact of apartheid was shattering, creating deep societal scars that are still healing today. It not only affected South Africa, but also sent shockwaves around the world, challenging our collective understanding of humanity and justice. Apartheid was a brutal system that left a lasting impact on South Africa and the world. To truly understand apartheid, we must delve into its history. Apartheid, a term synonymous with institutionalized racial segregation, found its roots in South Africa in the mid-20th century. It all started in 1948, when the National Party came to power with the promise of safeguarding the interests of the white minority. The National Party brought forth policies that were entrenched in racial discrimination and segregation. They introduced a brutal system that classified South Africans into four racial categories – white, black, colored, and Indian. This racial classification was more than just labels. It dictated where you lived, worked, and even who you could marry. The National Party justified these policies under the guise of promoting cultural diversity. But in reality, it was a tool to maintain political and economic control over the vast majority of the population, the black South Africans. The whites, who made up less than 20% of the population, held all the power and privileges. The apartheid regime created Bantistans, separate areas for black South Africans, stripping them of their citizenship and rights in their own country. These Bantistans were often overcrowded, underdeveloped areas, far from urban centers and lacking in basic amenities. But the human spirit is not easily quelled. The apartheid regime faced resistance both nationally and internationally. People of all races and walks of life stood up against this unjust system. The African National Congress, led by figures like Nelson Mandela and Oliver Tambo, spearheaded the resistance movement within South Africa. They organized strikes, protests, and acts of civil disobedience, facing brutal retaliation from the government but never backing down. Internationally, countries and organizations imposed sanctions and boycotts against South Africa, protesting against its apartheid policies. The pressure from within and outside the country eventually led to the dismantling of the apartheid regime. The struggle against apartheid was a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. The history of apartheid is a stark reminder of the destructive power of racial discrimination and segregation. It also underscores the resilience and courage of those who stand up against injustice, even in the face of overwhelming odds. The fall of apartheid was not an overnight event. Rather, it was a series of events, driven by intense internal resistance and international pressure, that eventually brought about an end to this oppressive regime. The 1980s saw a rise in the intensity of internal resistance to apartheid. The African National Congress, or ANC, played a significant role in this. Despite being banned and forced into exile, the ANC managed to mobilize mass protests and strikes within South Africa, causing significant economic disruption. This internal pressure was instrumental in forcing the government to seek a solution. Meanwhile, the world was watching. The international community, horrified by the human rights abuses taking place in South Africa, began to impose economic and political sanctions. The pressure was mounting, and it became increasingly clear that apartheid was not sustainable. In the midst of this, Nelson Mandela emerged as a beacon of hope. Despite spending 27 years in prison for his anti-apartheid activism, Mandela remained undeterred in his quest for justice. Upon his release in 1990, he worked tirelessly to negotiate an end to apartheid, advocating for peaceful transition and reconciliation. The culmination of these efforts was the 1994 general elections, the first in South Africa's history to include voters of all races. The ANC, with Mandela at its helm, won a resounding victory. This marked the official end of apartheid, a system that had for so long divided the nation along racial lines. However, the end of apartheid was not just about the dismantling of a system, it was also about the birth of a new nation, a rainbow nation.
as Archbishop Desmond Tutu famously termed it. This was a nation envisioned to be united in its diversity, where all citizens, regardless of their race, enjoyed equal rights and opportunities. But the transition was not without its challenges. The legacy of apartheid had left deep scars on the nation's psyche and its landscape. Transitioning to a non-racial democratic society required a mammoth effort, and the journey was fraught with difficulties. The end of apartheid marked a new era of hope and challenges for South Africa. The nation had taken its first step towards a more inclusive future, but the road ahead was long and winding. While apartheid has ended in South Africa, its echoes reverberate in the present day. Now let's turn our gaze to the modern world, where echoes of apartheid still linger in various forms of racial segregation and discrimination, impacting societies globally. Take, for instance, systemic racism, a social construct that's deeply embedded in our societies. This isn't a mirror image of South African apartheid, but it shares striking resemblances. Systemic racism is the institutionalized bias that favors one racial group over another, it's a complex network of policies and practices entrenched in societal structures that disadvantage certain racial groups while benefiting others. And let's not forget about the Rohingya crisis in Myanmar or the Uyghur situation in China. These communities face brutal discrimination, forced displacement, and even genocide, a stark reminder of the severe consequences of racial prejudice. These are not isolated incidents, but rather, they're parts of a larger global trend a trend that reflects the persistence of racial discrimination and the urgent need for change. These examples remind us that the fight against racial discrimination is far from over. And as we forge ahead, let's remember that the eradication of these modern-day forms of apartheid is a collective responsibility, one we must all shoulder. Apartheid was a dark chapter in human history. We've journeyed from understanding this oppressive system, through its historical instances, to its eventual fall, and even its modern manifestations. The lessons are clear. Racial discrimination devalues our shared humanity, and fighting against it is non-negotiable. It's a stark reminder of the power of unity, resilience, and justice in shaping our world. Remember, the fight for equality and justice is a continuous journey. Each one of us has a role to play in this journey.